In this video, you'll learn how to type Spanish accents together with those funny little characters like the upside down question mark on a Mac. If you have one of the newer operating systems, it's really simple. All you have to do is press and hold the letter that you want to accent, and then you'll get this menu pop up. So you can either select the accented letter by clicking on it, or you can press the corresponding number. So here, uh, the accent I want is number two, so I'll press number two and we get the accented letter. Let's do the same for I, O, and U. Then Spanish also has this U with the two little dots at the top, so I'll press number four to select that one. Now, if this doesn't work for you, there is a manual way of doing it that I'll go through at the end of the video. But for now, let's go down and let's look at some of the other letters. So how do we type this N with the tilde at the top? To do this, you'll need to use a keyboard combination, which uses this key. So on some, it's called, on some keyboards, it's called the Alt key. On some keyboards, it's called the Option key. So to get this N, we press and hold the Alt or the Option key. Then, while still holding this key, press the letter N. And you should get this symbol appear, which is highlighted in yellow. Let go of both keys and press N again. And there you get the N with the tilde at the top. To type the upside down question mark, press and hold the Alt key. And while still holding this key, press Shift and question mark. And you get the upside down one. Next, to type the upside down exclamation mark, this may depend depending on the, the keyboard that you have. So um, the best way to learn how to do it is to experiment a little bit until you find the right key combination. So press and hold the Alt or the Option key. And then while still holding it, you can press a few different keys. And eventually, you will find the upside down exclamation mark. For me, it's the question mark key. So I press and hold Alt and then press the question mark key and I get this upside down exclamation mark. Then if, let's go back to talking about putting the accents on top of the vowels that we did at the beginning. So if the press and hold button didn't show a menu for you, there's also a manual way to do this. So press and hold Alt or the Option key. Then while still holding this, again, this is different for different keyboards, so you'll need to play around a little bit until you find it, but we're looking for this, this little um, upward accent symbol here. So whilst you're holding the Alt key, just play around again and press a few different keys until you get the accent which is pointing upwards like that. So for me, that is the letter, uh, sorry, the number eight. Um, so now we get this highlighted in yellow. Let go of both keys and then click the letter that you want to accent. So now I'm going to type the letter A and then I get this accent. Again, let's try this with another letter. So I'm going to press Alt and the number eight and then the letter E and here we get the accent. 